Ethereum ETF Greenlight Signals Path for More Crypto Investment Funds, TD Cohen. Ruhul Emin Hekshan is last updated, May 26, 2024, 12 EDT 2 Minute Read. The recent approval of Ethereum exchange traded funds FS has opened the doors for more crypto investment products, according to research from TD Cohen's Washington Research Group. While the speed of approval caught some off guard, the research group viewed it as an inevitable outcome following the approval of Bitcoin ETFs earlier this year. Jarrett Saberg, a member of TD Cohen's team, noted that the Ethereum ETF approval came about six months earlier than expected but was predictable after the Securities and Exchange Commission second gave the green light to crypto futures ETFs. ETFs including basket of crypto tokens could come next. Saberg further suggested that within the next year, we could see investment offerings that include a basket of crypto tokens encompassing Bitcoin and their, and potentially even more. However, the approval of Ethereum ETFs does not indicate a broader shift in the second stance on cryptocurrencies. Second Chair Gary Gensler, known for his critical stance on the crypto industry, issued a critical statement regarding the passage of crypto legislation that could potentially diminish the agency's authority. Gensler highlighted the industry's history of failures, frauds, and bankruptcies, attributing them not to a lack of rules but to many players in the crypto industry disregarding the existing regulations. His statement was released before the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act or FIT-21 passed in the U.S. House of Representatives. While Gensler's agency may face challenges, TD Cohen predicts that the second will maintain its Democratic majority until 2026. The research group expects the agency to continue litigating against crypto trading platforms that trade tokens deemed unregistered securities by the second. Spot Ether ETF approval proves ETH is not a security. The recent approval of spot ETH ETFs potentially confirms either status as a non-security, according to industry experts. As reported, Bloomberg ETF analyst James Seifert has said that the approval of these commodity-based trust shares implies that the second explicitly recognizes Ether as not being a security. Seifert further suggested that this recognition could extend to other tokens as well, solidifying their classification as commodities. Digital asset lawyer Justin Browder echoed Seifert's sentiment, stating that if Ether ETFs receive S1 approval, which is the final requirement for them to begin trading, it would settle the debate once and for all, affirming that ETH is indeed not a security. Adam Cochran, a partner at venture capital firm Cinemian Ventures, took the argument a step further suggesting that this line of thinking could be applied to tokens of other projects as well. On May 23, the second officially approved 194 applications from Vanek, BlackRock, Fidelity, Grayscale, Franklin Templeton, ARK21 shares, Invesco Galaxy, and Bitwise for issuing spot Ether ETFs. Notably, several ETF issuers removed staking from their final amendments. Safeart predicts that the S1 approvals could be granted in a couple of weeks, although he acknowledges that the process may take longer, typically spanning up to five months. However, fellow Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Balchinis believes that a mid-June launch is certainly possible. Follow us on Google News.